All right, I got my new handlebar in. I'm gonna be putting it on right now. It's a little bit shorter. It's an Origin 8 stash bar, 25.4 millimeter clamp by 450 millimeter width. It's kind of supposed to be used without brakes, but I'm gonna use brakes on it. As you can see, it is very high quality with the barring caps, aluminum, thick. I'm loving it. I got it from, I forgot where I got it from, but I'll put it in the description below. It's used, but it looks brand new though. The only thing I don't like about this bar is it doesn't have ridges. Kind of has, you can see the bar that I'm replacing has ridges. Those ridges are actually very important. And this one doesn't have it, but it's a flat, it's an extremely straight, it's a straight bar, not a flat bar. And that won't be too much of a safety issue. But if it was like a riser like this, if it bent forward, then it'd be an issue. But I'm going to put it up together right now. Right now I'm using a 5mm T-handle to loosen the face plate, uh, removing the grips which are very hard to remove, uh, loosening the brake lever levers and sliding them off, again using the 5mm T-handle to take off the face plate, installing the handlebar, making sure that the logo is facing out. Usually there is an indicator uh, used with the logo to center the handlebar. If there are ridges, you want to make sure that the faceplate clamps onto those ridges. Installing the brake cable, tightening it. Now, when you tighten the brake levers, make sure that they are, are angled at a 45 degree angle downwards depending on the geometry of the frame or your comfort level you can adjust them accordingly but they should be even i am uh, adjusting my brake cable tension so that the pads are are at uh, a good distance away from the rim. Make sure that the pads are not rubbing on the tire and that they are rubbing on the rim. A good thing to note is uh, even spacing between the top and the bottom, like this. As you can see, you have to tighten the bolts evenly at a uh, individual pace uh, i call it an x pattern i start with the top left bolt then the bottom right then go to the bottom left then tighten the top right i tighten the bolts little by little in this pattern until the face plate is sitting evenly onto the handle bar this is important please take note if you have carbon handlebars you are going to need a torque wrench and torque the bolts to your manufacturers or product specifications for people who have aluminum or steel handlebars tighten these bolts reasonably if you have a steel handlebar, you can tighten these um, uh, pretty tight, but I would not over tighten them. Uh, if you ride your bicycle a lot or regularly, you have to check the bolts often for looseness. That is why I prefer a quill stem because they are safer and you do not have to check them as often as you would a threadless stem. It's about even on both the top and the bottom. It's something you gotta make sure about. I just wanna show you something about my old school brakes. These are old school Schwinn brakes. They do not need a ferrule to sit in the barrel adjuster. 
new new bikes like see how the brakes you have to have a you have to have a ferrule on your brake cables in order for it to sit properly in your barrel adjuster with these these brakes these are old school brakes you do not need a ferrule on the brake cable for it to sit in the barrel adjuster for the brakes and right now i had to trim down my cables Now I am installing the Vans waffle grips made out of rubber material, most commonly used by BMX bikers. They are extremely hard to put on. I want to take note right now. This is a little trick. I am using rubbing alcohol to install the grips and it makes a huge difference in the ease of installation all you need is a couple of drops of rubbing alcohol into the grips you close one end with your hand pour one or two drops into the inside of the grips swish it around then slide on the grips to the handlebar. The alcohol will evaporate and the grips will stay on the handlebar firmly. That is the video for installing a straight handlebar and grips for your bicycle. I hope you liked it. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I will be teaching classes here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Please comment below or email me for upcoming dates.